Great. Well, it's so nice to meet you all. My name is Amira Hall. Jeez, Maggie. No, it's Maggie. I was getting a message for you. When, would you like an, an elaboration? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So what you were absolutely. okay. So what you were showing me is puzzle pieces, and that you've been very busy. It's like you've got this puzzle on the table, and you've got all these pieces, and many of the puzzle pieces were flying. Some of them were sort of suspended, like hovering, like they were magic pieces. And you were frantically trying, ooh, I got chills. You were trying to put all the pieces in to the picture. So there's a lot going on for you um, beyond your conscious awareness right now. Um, I was getting two things. So there's that unconscious work that's going on and your higher self working on it. And then there's another part of you that's trying to do something. And what I was getting was that you needed to be still, but not, not doing it, meaning releasing the energetics related to the stories. So there's some energy that is sort of a frenzy. Um, I also saw a spiral and the spiral that I was interpreting was like a spiral of energy, a little bit of tornado energy, a little bit of frantic kind of confusing energy and just keeping it all spun up. So, um, are you, so what I teach is a way to like ground that energy, to release that electrical current from the excitement, from the stories, the pastime energy. Um, because it looks like you, you will know exactly what to do in terms of taking action, but you have to clear that energy. It's that pastime energy so that you can come and all the puzzle pieces. It's almost like a Hogwarts puzzle that I'm seeing. And I don't know if you're talking about magic or some of these stories. It's, they're all about transformation. Okay. Because there's a lot of magic and oh, my, 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 my God bumps are really validating. So that all has to settle down so that you can, it's almost like all the puzzle pieces will magically fall into place. So that's where you have to do the work to do that. So I hope that helps you. That really does. I'd really like to talk with you more. Okay, yeah. great. Okay. okay. I'd be happy to do that. So because, let's see. And it makes perfect sense. I got to tell you, because that is kind of, <laughs> that is how, how I move lots of times. Like, Inspiring. Well, and, and so the stories and the spin, and if it is about transformation, all of that is sort of layered up and that is what has to be released so that it can come into form. And you've got a lot of the things already strategized and structured. Everything will come into place, but first, you, you know, the, the crazy energies, the cray cray has to be released. And a lot of it is past time that is not even related to you. So in, if, if it's stories of other people, that has to be discharged, almost like a, uh, in terms of grounding. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you. You're so, so welcome. Much. And we can explore it more if you like down the road. Let's it's see. Really I, uh, Chris, may I come, with you, come, come to you with a message? Sure. That's, that's okay, fine. great. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much, um, Maggie. It's so lovely to connect with you. So, um, Jim, or, pardon me, who, is there a Jim here? Do you have somebody in spirit by the name of Jim? Uh, a, a friend whose uh, laptop I am using. Okay, well that's energies coming through very strong. Is that, is that person on the other side? Yes, I was with him when he passed over. And it was been it, a number of years. What, how long ago was that? Uh, see, what is it? 21, about almost 10 years. Well, Jim, years. Jim is here. Okay. And I, I'm just really, years. well, Jim, Jim is here. Okay. And I, I'm just really on fire here in, in a good way. Um, did he have some, something with his feet or his slippers or something about soft, comfortable shoes? Or is there something going on with you with slippers? Uh, uh, that I'm using them. <laughs> okay. Did you, are they new slippers? Is there no. some, okay. There's something about the slippers or something about you shuffling or lifting your feet. Uh, that was Jim. Okay. So that's what he, so this is validation that this is Jim. Okay. And that's what he yeah. wants you to know. And he mm -hmm. tells you that he's sorry that he was such a pain in the neck. Ah, <laughs> not at all. 
but know. but he you guys bantered a lot it's like you guys yeah. were you were like fighting friends in a way you know like poking each other all the time and so right. that's what he's talking about is that pain mm -hmm. in the neck kind of you know playful banter um right. he he has a massive big heart um Definitely. he he was he was giving I mean, he, it's almost like he exploded himself giving. Yes, it, he it, did. It, it's almost like he could not give more enough, you know, so. Yeah, so let's see if there's something. Did you have a question for him? Uh, only if he, uh, how things are going, if, every, if he's working through everything that he wanted to. I know he left at the time he did because um, there was, as you had said, there was nothing left for him to do. Well, what he, you're showing me is that um, Jim is, um, he's categorizing. It's almost like the old fashioned days of the libraries, the Dewey system. He's with numbers and he's got these cards and he's putting everything in order. And he's, he's meticulously archiving information and going through things that he's stored is what he's showing me. Um, Wonderful. Yeah, he's 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 a um, he's a master, and mm -hmm. he's um, he's an orator, but a deliberator, as he's telling me, and he's yeah. deliberating, making decisions, and sorting things out. And I think you'll he says you will know exactly yeah. what he's talking about. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is is there something to elaborate for the rest of us? <laughs> Are we all um, gonna... I don't know, other than uh, we lived and worked together in a community centered okay. around the care of older people. And okay. uh, uh, yeah, he worked a lot in the dairy area, I worked a lot in the administrative, and of course okay. had a lot of uh, things that we worked together in caring for the older people. Okay, was he kind of a librarian? Did he keep track of records? The uh, dairy records. He's very meticulous. Okay. Yeah. So, he's, uh, he, so he's he's going on with business, but he says there are bigger and better things. Well, not better, yeah, but yeah. there's just more of it in a different way. Yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah. yeah. But he taps in with you a lot. So just know that uh -huh. that your, your senses are correct. It is him. Yeah. Good. Thank you. You're so welcome. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for that, Chris. And appreciate Jim as well. Yeah, oh, he's 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 he wanted to be heard, and it seems like mm -hmm. it's been a while for you guys to connect. So, yeah, yeah. so great. Thank you. Okay, so uh, 